Don't judge a book by its cover. We've all heard this. A classic phrase. First class, 10 out of 10, S rank, true words of wisdom. We shouldn't base assumptions on what we see, but by the actions and content of their character. An idiom for the ages. Too bad we suck at it. Hey, you know I'm right. We've had this phrase beaten into our little heads since we were babies. But boy, do we not listen and judge everything. People's clothes, their hair, their house, their car, what school club they're in, their taste in anime, what phone they use on Twitter, and that's mean girl stuff. We haven't even gotten to politics or race. It's a great phrase in theory, horrible in practice. And that's it. Humans just suck. Crippling weight of reality aside, book covers! Yeah, now that's what I call whiplash! I love looking at book covers. One of my favorite pastimes is just walking through a store's aisles and seeing all the pretty colors and graphic designs fighting for my eyeballs, crying out, buy me, buy me, as I look down and say, no, cause I'm poor. <laughs> but it's actually very calming for me, probably cause I love the allure of potential hidden within their pages. Could they be good? Bad? Buck hog wild? Who knows? It's clickbait for books! I still haven't read anything about my best friend's exorcism, but the cover is amazing. Just look at that. It's the 80s as a book cover. Stranger Things, you need to step your game up. So you know what? Screw deep research, screw long soliloquies about the nature of storytelling, and screw 20 to 30 plus minute videos. No sir! Not today. I need a break and want to be a petty mean girl. Let's judge some books by their cover. The good, the bad, your WTFs, and everything in between. That cover is ripping off it. What is this even about? 13 year old girl missing, something about an uncle, a media reporter becoming rich and famous only to find her son. This is it without the scary clown. Well, no, I'm lying. It just uses a classic symbol that made me think that. Now this is a ripoff of IT. The Fear Zone. Five kids unleash an evil force that takes the shape of their worst fears. You are not even hiding it. Quick note, do not take what I say seriously. These comments do not reflect the actual quality of a work. I'm just being vapidly shallow. Who knows, Pee Wee Pennywise might actually be good, about on par with creepy pair of underwear. Okay, back to the video. Alright, there are only so many books and so little time to judge, so let's start where I always go when I enter a bookstore, the fantasy sci-fi section. No joke, as far back as I can remember, I always had a love for genre fiction, beelining straight to them, not giving any other section a passing glance. Contemporary fiction? Boring. Mystery? Yawn. Romance? <laughs> Fantasy sci-fi? Oh yeah! I'm a nerd, what can I say? I'm not ready to talk about you yet. Say, geez, I guess I wasn't the only one who hated the last season. Poor little guy. Now no one will want to buy you. Cause you're broken. In my personal opinion, genre books have the best covers. Some are simple and to the point, while others will go hog wild, like the beasts of Nightfall Lodge. My god, this is art! A tongue-in-cheek horror adventure featuring a bloodthirsty monster of legend? It's like this book was made for me. Same with Black Leopard Red Wolf, Ay ay ay. Talk about an acid trip. I'm not even sure what I'm looking at, but I like it. Are you still waiting for Winds of Winter? Did the last season utterly destroy you? Then why not try the Dinosaur Lords? It's like Game of Thrones, but with dinosaurs. Game of Thrones, but with dinosaurs. Game of Thrones with mother dinosaurs. Why haven't I talked about this, son of a bitch? My tastes have expanded since then, but there are times I just have to ask, why is that book there? Trivia time. Where would video game novel Tom Clancy's The Division Broken Dawn be filed under? Write your answer in the comments below. 
Well, do I have a surprise for you. Yeah, your guess is as good as mine. I've never seen video game novels make it past fantasy sci-fi, but I guess through the power of Clancy, it gets a pass. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the used bookstores soon. Now, I was floored with this cover. It is literally red velvet. The presentation of this book is amazing. I can't believe it's actually about Magic Basketball by Kobe Bryant. Shocked me too. Oh, your time is coming. I have opinions. The only mystery here is why is John Steinbeck filed here? Respect the system, people. Hey, hey look, it's turtles all the way down. Eh. Okay, this is just unacceptable. Nothing annoys me more than when a book's out of place. Ugh, these guys. I've never been a fan of the Barnes & Noble's classics line. Yeah, I know they're classic books at affordable prices, but I always hated their colors. They're too dull. Oh yeah, Wuthering Heights is a classic. But I'd rather have a penguin than this. There are only two good things with these editions. Sherlock Holmes Volume 1 and 2. Ah, uh, nothing like shooting fish in a barrel. Look, romance titles have rarely been my thing, but with covers like these, how can you not have a good laugh at them? You can just taste the melodrama. I don't get the appeal. Oh, well, hello there. You come here often? Shh, shh, shh. No need to talk, you fine piece of- What are you doing? Oh, sh Okay, seriously, Barnes & Noble, who is filing your books? I swear I don't get paid enough to do this. Just gotta put it here, and I fixed it. You're welcome. I hate everything about this. This fills me with rage. I'm just going to look away and... Oh, well, this is awkward. Just turn around and... Son of a bitch! Oh, hey, there are more remade Goosebumps covers. I still prefer the originals. I've talked about this before, but I've rarely liked the modern Goosebumps designs. Not to bash the artists making them, but they come off as too clean in my opinion, compared to the originals that had this dirty, gross feeling about them that made you scared to even touch them. It's like watching a modern cast do a classic TV show. There's just something off where they can't capture the same magic, which makes it hard for me to enjoy these covers and... Your time will come. Speaking of modernizing children's books, Judy Bloom's 1970s book, Are You There, God? It's Me, Margaret, is considered a YA classic for its very frank discussions about sexuality and religion, making it a target for censorship since publication. But the times have changed, and so have the kids. Covers like these are so... Ratchet? It needs to be hip and jiggy with it. Which is why in 2014, they made this cover, oh my god. Don't you feel seen, modern 10 to 15 target demographic. How do you do, fellow kids? What? If you think that's bad, wait till you see what the Hardy Boys did in the 90s. Or should I say the Hardy Boys? Sup, party people, I'm back in the his Oh no, knew it was wrong as soon as I said it. Nothing says fresh in 1996 than basketball. You think that's bad? You should see their serious line for teenagers. Nothing says adult like explosions and fire. I actually looked it up and this franchise has been going on for over 90, yes, 90 years. I give them flack because these covers date them horribly, but give credit where credit is due. Stuff like this is why they are still kicking. If you ever want a blast from the past, you need to go to your local used bookstore. You will find so many covers that show how publishers tried to sell their books over time. Like the Chronicles of Vladimir Todd, the high school emo vampire for kids. Can you tell this was when Twilight was popular? Or the manliest book cover of all time, Lando! God damn! That ain't a man, that's a man! The mere sight of this cover makes you want to... Also, I'd be remiss not to do this. Who's ready for some basic fun? Get it? Get it? More basic than ABC. Get it? My life as a fifth grade comedian. Oh, hey, it's Alex Clark's autobiography. 
You see, this is why used bookstores are amazing. Where else would you find art like this Alien vs Predator cover, the fact Lucasfilm has a trilogy around space furries, or a hunky space cat daddy in a military jock strap. I am not joking, look at that, that's a jock. What can I say but woof. Okay, this video is getting a little long, so I'm going to wrap things up. If there's one thing I've taken away from this is that covers have all kinds of ways to grab your attention. And while they don't speak for the quality of a work, they can still bring value. So go out and look at some book covers. It's like a mini art museum. Though, whether you agree or disagree with my opinions, I think we can all agree on one thing. Movie tie-in covers suck. What's this? A video that didn't take two months to make? Ha ha ha, didn't I make this joke before? But in all seriousness, I hope you guys enjoy this different kind of video. It's an idea I've been playing around in my head, and boy did I have to cut out a lot, cause there are just so many books. If you guys would like to see more, then let me know by liking the video and sharing your thoughts in the comments. If you have a cover you wish to show me, head on over to my Twitter or Instagram so I can keep track. And if you're new here, subscribe for more book type videos. Other than that, I'm David Popovich, your local bookworm. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. See you in the next one. Shoo.